Hey everyone, Nilda here from My Love Doing All Things Crafty and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having a great week. Today I want to share with you this friend card that I made for the My Favorite Things 2017 Card Design Superstar Contest. I'll be entering this one into the clean and simple genius category. There are still a few more days to enter, so if you're interested, check out the My Favorite Things blog for details. So all the supplies I use today come from My Favorite Things. To create the front panel, I used the My Favorite Things wonky stitched rectangle die. For my letters, I use the MFT Friend Dynamics die. And then to create my terrarium, I use the abstract heart. And you're right, it doesn't look like a heart, but with some creative cutting, I was able to create and shape my terrarium. The stamp sets I use today on this card come from the Essential Stamp Set and as well as the Sweet Succulent Stamp Set from My Favorite Things. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the process video. If you do have any questions, because the video is sped up quite a bit, um, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And as well there you will find links to all my supplies today. So to keep the video shorter, I have already colored and fussy cut my stamped images and I'm just trying to figure out the layout for this card. So I'm not going to actually be cutting out these letters from my panel. I'm just going to run it through my Sizzix dye machine um, using the silicone mat and this will just create the impression onto the panel so it'll be easier for me to place my letters on afterwards. Here I'm just going to use my DIY acetate uh, grid lines to line up my sentiment. Because I'm going to be using some embossing powder here shortly, I added the washi tape to keep all that little powder from getting into those little creases and crevices. To create a terrarium, I die cut five pieces of the abstract heart out. I had previously die cut one out and played with the image until I got one that I liked. And here I'm just going to be using a sharp blade to create my front panel. Next you'll want to cut the diamond-like shape out of all of the rest of the um, hearts. You'll leave one of those cutouts exactly like that for the back panel. And then you'll want to build up the sides so you'll have to cut out all the center pieces on uh, the remaining three diamond-like shapes. Once your pieces are all cut out, you're ready to start gluing the terrarium together. Now you're ready to start building the scene inside your terrarium by gluing down the furthest piece to the back and then just building it up. And as you'll see here, I will leave the top piece off until I adhere it to the back of my card panel. So I actually meant to stamp those little leaves that you see to the side 
um, first before I adhered that, so I had to remove it and then go back and stamp my images on the panel, which was what I had originally planned but forgot to do. Now I'm just going to take my multimedia matte glue and fill the wells underneath the plants to add um, some uh, microbeads and this will make, give it the look of some dirt or gravel underneath the succulents. And here with the back of a pin I'm just pushing the beads into the glue to make sure that they don't fall out and are well adhered. To make it easier to stick down my letters after, I'm using some craft foam with an adhesive backing and then using Stick It on the other side of the foam and this way when I run it through my die cut machine it creates a sticker. To make it look like the terrarium is suspended, I'm just going to use some metallic glitter thread and I'm just going to double it up because it is so thin and then I'm going to try wrapping it around the N. And here's where the impression of the friend die becomes really helpful. It's really easy to see if they're straight or if any of them are crooked and evenly spaced out. So here's a closer look at my clean and simple design for the card challenge contest. I hope this card inspires you to look at your products a little differently and see how else you can use them. I had so much fun creating this terrarium and I'm loving these little micro beads. For more information and details go to the MFT blog and check out all the entries. They are just fabulous and wish me luck everyone. Till next time. Bye!